Let's switch gears for a moment, and uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, in your teaching, uh, what's the, the biggest challenge that you face when you uh, go into a room and, and, you know, and try and teach your students these things, get the message across? One of the most, uh, most difficult and yet obvious things is to get students to think much more deeply about what race is. And in fact, because there's a sort of presumption on their part that they know what race is. They gotta know what racism is. And so to really deeply get, uh, to get them to deeply sort of question and explore uh, what kinds of meanings, what kinds of representations, what kinds of, how many racial categories are there? How many races are there? Uh, are, is it myological? Is it social? Uh, it, to, to get them to think about that is very difficult. The other thing in the current period is really to um, have them critique in, in, uh, in many respects the very ideology of colorblindness. Uh, for many students, they feel that the uh, uh, most effective sort of anti-racist practice, action, or gesture is to ignore race. Um, often by saying, you know, I, when I see somebody, I don't really care if they're white, black, yellow, brown. Often throwing in a few other colors as well. Uh, you know, and it doesn't really, to get them to sort of question what that means and how they navigate through their social world or the kinds of ways they make sense of the political events that are unfolding before them with respect to race and racism. That's a pretty hard and critical issue for them to explore. I find my students are typical Americans in many ways. That is to say, they're struggling with the uncertainties of race, of the meaning of race, and of where they locate themselves within it. So um, they want to, to uh, see a world in which uh, inequality and injustice and racial profiling and other problems connected to race have been overcome. But then at the same time, they find that they themselves are uh, uh, Im 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 implicitly caught up in those same sets of problems. So white students are worrying about being charged with privilege. You know, how come I'm constantly asked to uh, check my privilege. Uh, black students are, cha are, are challenged, sometimes consciously, sometimes unconsciously, by stereotype threat. These are some of the themes, key themes in the book as well. The idea that um, I don't really, I, I, I'm not really qualified, I'm really seen as unqualified, I have to prove myself every moment. Um, uh, Latinos and Asian students are often um, struggling with issues of belonging, uh, the aftermath of immigration. They may have uh, members of their family or they may themselves be undocumented. They uh, are in some sense underground already in the United States and subject to repression or fearful of repression. Native American students are also facing uh, tremendous contradictions of um, uh, belonging and uh, uh, doubts about their, their future, uh, questions of mobility and success, uh, which actually, of course, apply to everybody. So these, these issues are very pressing for, for all of our students, but they're not necessarily conscious. And it's very important for us as teachers and as scholars and as authors to uh, help people make them explicit and, expl and, and, and help them uh, wrestle with these contradictions openly and uh, to recognize that they're not alone in their uncertainty.